All right. All right. So we're starting out with with lunges. All right. I'm using the chair here. These are going to be uh, one legged lunges. We're going to do 25 of each leg. 25 each leg. And there's nothing fancy about it. Got foot up on the foot up on the chair. Other foot's way out in front. We'll go 25 down and up. Let's go. Right to it. 25, trying to get low, and then I'm going to switch to 25 on the other leg. And hopefully you warmed up. If you didn't warm up today, you're going to feel it. I should have been counting. Anyone been counting so far? I'm gonna call that 12 or so. Call that 15. You bring those hands up if you want. Try and keep the chest open, eyes forward, staying tall when we go, as opposed to bending over. All right, but I can only go halfway, only go halfway. If you get down lower, you go lower. All right, we're going to call that about 25 for me. Switching to the other leg. Again, get that foot out in front before I start. And then I'm going. Dropping down in each time. If I can get a little deeper, I can. That's fine. But I'm also not trying to shove my knee way over my toes. I'm trying to drop down. 25 per leg. Today is a tough one. If you need breaks today, take breaks. You're going to need them. Should be about 15 on that other leg. Keep those rolling. I need a sweatshirt today, that's for sure. All right. A lot of the things we're doing today are going to be slow. A couple things will be explosive. A lot of things are slow, and you just got to go through it. All right. The next thing we're doing, we're going to do squats. You can use a weight if you want, but we're going to do some squats. At the end of each squat, we're going to do a little tiptoe. So we're going to go down to a squat, and we'll come up, stand on my toes, right back down to the next one. We do 25 to 30 of these. All right, here we go. I'm down, both hands touch the ground, chest is forward, chin's up, I'm up, I'm on my toes. That's one. Up on my toes. Two. Up on the toes. Up and hold. Four. Up and hold. Five. Up and hold. Six. Keep going. So again, I'm going down here and I'm here. I'm not bending over. All right. I'm going down. And then up and hold. I can go at nine, probably. Each time. Up and hold. Say swim team. Five to 30. Keep it going. Because it ends about at nine. Should be about 10 or so. If you guys have questions, let me know. Keep it going. Down touch. Up to the toes. Up to the toes. Hold that on your toes as opposed to just coming up and get up and hold. Keep it going. Should be about five to go. All right. That's good. That's time. All right, we're going to transition to our first round of pull-ups. 
first ones we're doing are chin-ups. So palms facing you. And as many as you can do, don't overdo it this early in the game. Try to do 14 to 16. Use your legs as much as you need to use your legs. Right, 14 to 16 pull-ups. Should we be doing like a wide grip or a closer grip? Regular chin grip. But like, should it be like right at our shoulder width or a little wider? I'd go shoulder. I wouldn't, there's no reason to ever go out here really. Okay. Right in front. Again, if you got to cheat, I want you to cheat to try to find out how to get to 12 to 16. Um, because we're going reps today, okay? A little more reps over quality. Let's go. So I got my close grip. Here we go. I don't know if you can see when I go. I always get my feet on the ground right now and push off because I know I'm doing reps today. So don't hesitate doing the same. Okay, it's okay to not have to move 170 pounds each time. It's okay to move 120 pounds. All right, we're going to do some, uh, should be wrapping those pull-ups up here soon. I'm going to give you guys time. I don't want you to rush through so much that you don't get it done. Uh, next thing we're going to be doing is skaters. All right, some uh, super skaters here. Uh, we're going to go 25 of each leg. And what we're going to do is we're going to be on one leg here. And this leg's going to kind of come back. So I'm on my right foot. My left hand... My left foot, my left foot's gonna come out to the side. My left hand, sorry, my left hand's gonna come up in front of my face. My left foot's cutting out behind me. I'm coming up and over. I'm gonna try not to fall down. I'm here. All right, so my hand's going forward. My leg's going back and over. And my leg's cutting over. It's not just doing a squat, it's coming over. We're gonna go 25. 25 on the other leg. All right, here we just go. One, two. It's okay to even tap your toes here and here. I can tap if I want. My foot's over there. My foot's now next to my other foot. I'm here. All right, I get my arms in the game. All right, 25 total. Call that, call that 10. Right. 12, 13, 14, 15, keep going, 16, 17, I'm not going too slow, 2, 3, 4, it's 25 for me, switching, other leg, all right, so the foot that goes back and over, that's the hand that's coming forward. So you know, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Notice I'm standing up tall each time, not staying hunched up. Oh. Not been counting. I need to get Javi on here and he just counts for me. Twenty five for my legs. You guys about finished on that? I hope. 
like so. Because we've got some wall sitting. We're gonna do an isometric. Do some wall sits. So find a good wall, a tree, hole. And we're just gonna sit on the wall. We're gonna do it a minute and a half. We're gonna be upper, a little higher for some. We'll be lower for other parts. Minute and a half of this. I'll show you how you can cheat as you go. All right, here we go. I'm down, I'm gonna sit. I can go here. I'm gonna put my hands on my legs. Why? Why not? As I'm going here, I'm pushing my stomach back against the wall. All right? I'm not, not leaning on my shoulders here. Right? I'm pushing my belly button back into the wall. Right, what do I need? I need to take a little break so I sit up a little bit. A little bit. Ready? Lower again. Get low. Push the wall. Lower back. Swimmers. This part of your back flat here. All right, you don't want it to be rounded. All right? Water gets caught here. Want that water to flow straight back down the back. So when you're doing these wall sits for another 35 seconds, you're pressing back against the wall. You can keep your wrist, lower hips against the wall. Can you get your wrist against the wall at the same time? My second arm up, back starts to arch in the middle. So I might go one arm up, the other arm, and push that back against the wall. Three, two, time. That's it. We're done. Except now we're going back into pull ups. All right. So it's pull up time. Now we're going to go wide grip. I grip poles. All right, so not here, not chin. Wide pull up. We're 16 to 20. How many are you going to do? It's okay to cheat. Let's do all your weight at once. So let's get going. Get up. We should be about wrapping up. So here we go. What we got? If you got a weight and you want to use it, we're just doing regular old lunges, fifteen each leg. These are gonna be step back. So I'm gonna do my lunge. And it's going to be stepping back into my lunge. It's okay to have the hands here. If you want to, you want to be holding the weight. All right, if you're a little stronger and you got weights, you can do these weights. All right. Uh, or go arms up in the air. All right. 15 each leg. 15, switch. 15. Let's go. One step back. That's one. Setting back, it's two. I can raise my knee up for a little more core involvement here. And my lunge, here we go, keep going. Seven, eight, nine, 
10, again, your arms up. I'm switching. Here we go. That's five. I'm stepping back each time. I'm leaving my knees a little forward. I need to make sure I step back far enough and go down as opposed to just going backwards. Keep going. You should have about five more ish. All right, we're staying with lunges, but now we're gonna do alternating lunges. An alternate 45 degree lunge, 45 degree lunge. I'm gonna step over into my lunge and back. Over 45, back. 12 each leg, 24 total. This takes time, here we go. Go one and back, two, and back. I like to land on my heel. I like to land on my heel to make sure that I'm actually getting out far enough. If I land on my toes, sometimes I'll do this, and my knee ends up way in front of my toes, which can stress that patella a little bit. But when I come up, I want to explode and push the ground down each time. I'm on carpet. I kind of want to wrap the carpet up with my foot. I want to roll it up. I want to explode when I come back up. Keep it going here. We're going 24 total. Should be about halfway right there. Stay tall with your posture. Don't want to be leaning forward in these yet. This is not that type of a lunge. Got about five to go. Keep it going, keep it going. All right, should be about wrapping up. What do you think we got? That's right, more pull-ups. Hi. We're gonna go pull-ups. Pull so I'm looking for hands closer together or palms facing. So a little closer, so not here. Don't do this, so ridiculous. Go closer or palm facing. We're gonna max it out or do what you can do. But we're looking for 12 to 16. If you can get up to 20, do it. All right. Again, use your legs. Use an assistant band. Do whatever you got to do to get the reps up today. Okay, get the reps up. So let's go. Keep going on those. All right. Just be wrapping those up. Again, it's okay to use assistance. Hey, Joel. Okay. It's okay to use those uh, legs. You got to teach your body how to go through the motions of repetitions. If you only ever do four pull-ups at a time, when someone asks you to do 12, by the time you get to 10 or so, you're like, I've never done this. So, again, if you, if you weigh 170 pounds like I do, 
uh, I'm just doing pull-ups at about 120 pounds. So someday when I get into some pull-up challenge and I need to do 20 in a row, it's not a huge shock to my system to pull myself up 20 times in a row. Even if it's heavier at that time, my body's done it before, okay? So back to the wall sit. Now, this wall sit's gonna really suck. We're gonna do a single leg wall sit. I'll change the angle of this just a bit so you can see. All right, so we're gonna do some single leg wall sit. We're gonna do this one time. We're gonna alternate 10 seconds right leg, 10 seconds on the left leg. So I'm getting into my wall sit, and I'm not gonna go super low on this because I just can't. But I'm gonna do a wall sit. Okay, so we're going to go 10 seconds and 10 seconds. 10 right, 10 left, 10 right, 10 left, 10 right, 10 left. Here we go. All right, ready to go. I got 10 seconds, this leg up. I'm pulling my toes in. All right, and that's time. Switch. I'm going this leg, I'm pushing against the wall. Five seconds. All right, now I'm switching. I'm cheating, taking a little break. So I know it's gonna hurt. That's five seconds. And I'm switching. That's five seconds. Three more seconds. And switch one more time on this side. Foot is up. Five more seconds. So all I need is three more seconds on this leg. And down last time, leg is up, five seconds. Three, two, time. <sighs> One legged wall sits. Back to squats, we're doing one-legged, one-legged squats. We're gonna go 20 on the right leg, 20 on the left leg. So, I'm gonna have my hands, feet are off the ground, and keep adjusting this. All right, I'm gonna touch the ground. And then up, that's one. 20 right, 20 on the left. One leg only. Let's go one, two, three, four. I got my palm spacing forward. Five, six, seven, eight. Now I'm struggling, so what am I doing? Put one of my feet on the ground. We got most of my weight. Keep going. On this leg, I use my other leg. It's a little, little helper. Get a little bit of a boost. All right, got eight to go. Keep it going. But if I'm able to, I go one leg only. Get down to the ground. Big chest. All right, keep it going. Sitting there. Should have about four to go. Keep it going. All right, we're switching to the other leg. So I'm here. It doesn't have to be straight down. There's gonna be a little bit of a bend forward here. Go ahead and get started. So I'm not bending over like this, but I actually am bending forward a little bit. Okay, 20 total, keep going. So there is a bit of a bend forward here. And we'll grab it to go down here and back up. All right, so it's gonna be a little bit here, but it's not that. Go down to your natural depth. You need to put your other foot on the ground. Put your toes on the ground. Keep it going. Keep it going. Keep it going. Keep going. Keep going. A few to go. Should have about three to go. Oh. 
All right, it should be about time there. Moving on to last set of pull-ups. Last set of pull-ups. And then we got a break. All right, so what I'm looking for is every two pull-ups you do, change your hands. We'll do chin-ups for two, close grip, wide, narrow. Every two, change your grip, okay? Every two pull-ups you do, you're changing how you're doing them. We got a break right after this. How many? 16 to 20. All right. Go ahead and get going. I'm going to get going. I'm going to do two. Wide. Look, I'm standing up to switch. And then I'm going to do two. Facing. I'm standing up to switch. Two chin ups. All right, so I'm taking little mini breaks in between. They're not big breaks. I'm not, you know, going to get a drink of water, but I keep going. I do two. Switch my grip. 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 Notice I'm still cheating on all these. All right. Call that a break. Give yourself about a minute and a half. Get a drink. Wipe yourself off. That's what I'm doing. So yesterday I forgot to click record and had to go back and do some of it over. Today I made sure I clicked record. I didn't want to do any of this over. Now tonight at uh, four o'clock, we're gonna do a Zoom call with a couple of the uh, team lead athletes. And uh, I encourage everyone to get on that. Just talking a little bit about um, their pathway, where they've come from, sort of how things have changed a little bit, given everything that's going on. And uh, a little bit of an open mic forum, let you guys ask questions, talk. So it's not so much me at all. Uh, I'll be there. But uh, this is really a phone call for you guys or video call for you guys to be able to uh, talk with other people that have been in your shoes and talk with people that are dealing with shoes that no one's had to deal with before with this whole uh, no pool. So. Be there at four o'clock, don't miss out, okay? And, and show up ready to participate, show up ready to just be engaged and involved as opposed to just absorbing. All right, so here we go. Getting back and started again. We're going back to lunges, but we're gonna do a lunge with a plyometric kick. We're gonna do three-way lunges. I just held up four fingers. We're gonna do a three-way lunge and uh, we're gonna end up doing 15 total of each leg. So this is what we're doing here. You're gonna do a lunge. I'm gonna lunge forward here. When I come up, instead of stepping up, I'm gonna lunge here like this. Now to get back up, I have to explode off this leg and straight leg kick it up. So I'm gonna lunge and then up. That's as straight as my leg gets. It's a little bent. I'm old, okay? But I'm gonna do a lunge forward. And raise it up. I'm going to do a lunge at 45 degrees. Raise it up. I'm going to do a lunge to the side. When I come up, that's a round. Five of each leg. Here we go. Forward, heel up. 45 degree angle, heel up, not toes up. To the side, raising the heel. Forward, Heel up. I guess my toes technically are up. But my toes are not pointed. Okay? My toes are flexed. My foot is flexed. So I'm asking to explode off the ground. 
as opposed to just sort of being able to roll off like that. All right, to the side, raise. Forward is around four, heel up. 45, explode the heel up. To the side, raise it. Last round, this leg. Lunge, heel up. 45, heel up. Side, raise it. Other leg, here we go, right into it. Step, raise the heel. 45, raise the heel. To the side, raise it. Round two, raise it. 45, raise it. To the side, raise it. Keep going, forward. To the 45, and now to the side. Should have about two more rounds of that. Keep going. When you guys are doing these, try to explode off the ground. Again, really try to explode. If you can't raise the leg and explode, at least get the explosion, get balanced, then raise the leg. Uh, you're trying to make sure you can connect all the pieces eventually may not be able to connect them all perfectly on the first try. But if you can connect them in parts, then you're making progress or you're on the right path. All right? But don't, you know, don't try to skip specific pieces. Maybe just separate the pieces away from each other, kind of like with the pull-ups, because we're getting ready to go do some more chin-ups. You should be about done now. Again, if you can only do two or three at a time, you take a break. If you need to do a uh, chin-ups where you completely jump off the ground and just and do negatives the whole way, you don't even do a pull-up, jump up, how slow can you go down? Well, we're on chin-ups. All right, so we got chin-ups. Can you get to 16? Again, if I'm doing a negative, I might, I'm here, I can't do anymore, I'm trapped. I come up here, ah. Oh. I just lower myself. All right, I stand up, I jump. I lower myself, that's two. But if I can do them, I do them. As many as you can, chin-ups, palms facing in. Let's go. Take a break if you need it. Keep going. Get yourself to that number. It's not perfection today. It's gonna be a little ugly. Give you guys time to finish those up on these rounds. Not gonna rush you through them this time. You do this workout right, this one hurts a lot. If you really max yourself and challenge yourself, this workout hurts a lot. It's your biggest muscle groups, your legs and your back. All right. We're gonna do uh, some more isometric sitting. We're gonna do it in a chair position. All right, but no chair. So we got a chair here. We're gonna get down into a chair, put our arms up. And it's a wall sit without a wall, okay? We're not gonna be straight up and down, we're gonna be a bit of an angle. We're doing 90 seconds, a minute and a half. We'll be lower and higher, okay? Here we go, let's drop in. I'm in my chair. I can have my arms here if I want, but I really want them up here. This is where I want your arms, so put your arms here if you can. Now as you're doing this, keep going, keep going. I'm looking for you not to let your chin drop like this or your arms drop like that. We're looking for straight lines, all right? Let's go a little lower. Let's go a little bit lower here. We're just gonna hold this. Just stuck in that isometric. Now we're gonna go a little higher. That should feel really nice to be able to relax there. 
We're just holding that. And we're going to go low again. Going low. We're just holding there doing nothing. And we're back up a bit. Should feel just wonderful. Like just sweet relief. And then we're going to go back down and hold. Legs should be burning now. Keep going. I have my feet apart. I'm going to put the feet together. It's even harder. Now if you can go feet together, that's even harder. Go a little lower. About 10 seconds. And five, four, three, and time. All right, those little legs should be burning. Isometrics are not done. We're gonna keep going. We're gonna do a uh, an isometric lunge. Seems we're just gonna hold that lunge position. So we're gonna get into a lunge. Okay, so I'm gonna be here. I've got my back leg straight right now. Normally we do a lunge, we'd kind of drop down to our knee. But I'm gonna do this lunge. Gotta have that front foot a little further out than normal. All right, so make sure that your knee's somewhere around your heel. All right, I've got my heel here. Because what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna come up here, I'm gonna hold this, and I'm gonna push off my toes 25 times. All right, 25 of these. Let's go. When I push forward, I'm pushing my knee forward, okay? If I already started out here, look how far my knee is up there. I don't want that. I want my heel out there. It's going to be a little wider than normal, not falling on my face. Just push it forward, all right? Get 25. All right, that's probably about 20 for me. You keep going until you get to 25. I'm going to switch it over. Now, should be about time. I'm wearing socks. Socks on carpet are probably not the smartest choice right now. I'm slipping. So I could take them off, just go barefoot, or have shoes. Do what you need to do for you. All right, you got to take a break, take a break. If I'm wider than normal. I'm gonna start with my knee on the ground, push my heel forward a little bit, then I'm gonna come up and go. 25. If you get low, that's great. Just keep it going. We got 15, 16. I'll put around 20. You got five to go. Keep it going. And time. Back to pull ups. Back to pull ups. You're going wide grip. You struggle with wide grip. All right. Wide grip pull ups. A little wider here. How many can you do? Keep sticking with that 14 to 16. If you can do 20, do 20. Say, oh, I can only do six and jump off the ground. All right, jump and come down slow. Wide grip pull ups. Okay, we're here. Let's go. I switch my leg at eight. I always jump off the ground, but I switch my leg halfway. Keep going. I'm gonna give about another 30 seconds to keep them in, keep them going. All right, should be about time on these. 
Uh, all right. Moving over to uh, squat walks. We're going to get into a low squat. I'm going to walk forward. And we're going to walk back. But the whole time, we're going to keep our legs wide and butts low. All right. So what we're going to do is we're going to get down into a low squat. Wide. Now we're just going to stay in a low squat. Walk. Now we're going to walk backwards. All right. And when I'm doing it, I'm trying to keep wide. If I can get wider, I'm going as wide as I can. This is about as wide as I can go without falling down for me. So I'm staying low. Keep going, keep going. You got 35 seconds. Now I'm not doing this to go low. I'm here. And I'm walking. I'm staying here. Got the chest up. Butt back. Butt slow. What do I need to do? Put my hands on my legs. Oh, because I'm getting tired. Okay. What? Let's stay down. All right. All right. You got 15 seconds. 15 seconds. Staying low. Staying wide. Keeping it going. Five, four, three, two, time. If you stay low, your legs are burning. Mine are. All right. Now, if you've got weights, just like a 15 pound weight. Go forward on this next one. We're doing calf raises. We're gonna do 75. 75 calf raises. What I'm looking for is we're gonna go 15 slow and then 10 fast. And our feet are gonna change. So if I got a weight, I can go a little dumbbell on each hand. You don't have a dumbbell? Who cares? You don't need one. Right? But we're going to put up my feet are apart. They little duck feet, little breaststroke feet. I got breaststroke feet. I'm going to go up. One, two, three. Keep it going. I'm not using weights. Four, five, six, seven. Still got breaststroke feet. Eight. Nine, ten. Keep going slow. You can do like ballerina moves here. Keep going. Two more slow. All right, then we're gonna go ten fast. Go two, three, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. All right. Now feet are parallel. Swimming. One of your feet parallel. They're not. Two. Slow, three, four, five, six, seven. Yeah, and swimming, keep going. You don't really want your feet ever looking straight up and down. All right, keep going. Slow. This is not much surface area according to the water. It only sees the tip of my toes. All right, we'll get to swimming position in a minute. Got about two more slow ones. All right, now let's go 10 fast. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Now we got swimming, non breaststroke feet. You got those toes in. All right, slow. One, two, three, four. Keep going. So if I've got my feet like this, Water's only gonna kick this little narrow point. I can turn my feet this way. I get a lot more surface area of water to whip the water. Surface area of my foot. If I turn my feet like this, it kind of looks like a dolphin tail or a mermaid tail. Fluke of a whale, all right? It's a lot more surface area. You can turn your foot sideways and do your dolphins and flutters here and then here. It's not about having a big foot necessarily, it's how much surface area can you have on your foot to whip water off of. So flexible ankles, wide feet. All right, should be getting into about the fast ones here. Let's go, 10 fast. Two, three, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. All right, guess what? 
pull-ups. Almost done, guys. Only got three more exercises. Did you close grip? Pull-ups. So hand over. All right. Hand over. Not wide. Narrow. Still sticking with as many as you can. We're going to give you about a minute to get them done. Pound them out. Take breaks if you need them. Let's go. Close grip. I go palm in. Keep it going. We've got 20 more seconds. All right, it's time. Two more exercises. Guess what? One of them's pull ups. We're going to do some, uh, some, uh, one-legged squat jumps where we're keeping, we're gonna use both legs, but this leg, just the tippy toes, that's it. Only a little bit of weight on this leg. We're gonna go 15 squats and 10 squat jumps. We're gonna do that on one leg, then we're gonna do it on the other leg. So every time I come up, I'm gonna lift this toe off the ground. I'm not pushing hard with this one, this is just, Maybe 20% of my weights on here, 80s on this one. So I'm gonna go down, one, two, we're going to 15 and 10, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, five more, we're gonna jump. Three, four, five. Now next 10 are jumping, jump. Try not to use that other leg. Get up. That's it for me. I'm gonna do the other leg. Give yourself a little rest. All right. I got 80% of my weight on this leg. Hardly any on this one. 15 and 10. Let's go. One, two, three, four, five. Keep the shoulders back. Six, seven. Nine, ten, two, get ready to jump. All right, ten jumps now. Let's go. Try to keep the weight on one leg. Okay, good. Got one more move. One more set of pull-ups here. Let you guys get on with your day. These are switch grips. Every two you're switching. Go for 20. I'm going for 20. I don't know if I'm gonna make it. But I'm gonna make it. Don't jump off the ground as many as I need to. All right, last set. Last set, best set. Finish with more than you want. Let's go. Switch every two. Switch in. Switch in. Switch in. Switch in. Switch in. Switch in. I got four more. Four hands facing. You keep going if you have to. 
I'm done. I'm assuming you guys got that done. If you got that done and it hurt, you did it right. If you got that done and it didn't hurt like crazy, then uh, that's that's unfortunate. But if you did it right, that hurt a bad, a bad, bad amount, but in a good way. So I got nothing else. Uh, four o'clock, get online, get on a Zoom call. We'll send out, we'll send out a notice. It's your opportunity to get up and talk and uh, engage with a few Team Elite pros and hear their stories of what they've gone through and what they're going through now. I think it'll be real valuable. I think you need to get engaged and uh, participate. It's worth your time. If you haven't been stretching out after these things, stretch out. This is the time to gain mobility and flexibility. Your body's tired. It's warm. It's primed and ready to gain flexibility. So now it's the time to gain flexibility. Don't come back a month from now and being like, I can't, I can't touch my toe. A month from now, you should be able to be super flexible. Great range of motion with the shoulders. So uh, take the time to do it. You guys got anything, let me know. Otherwise, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to sign off and see you guys again at 4 o'clock, okay? Sound good? Thank you. Thank you. Thank you, Coach. Yeah. Thank, Thank you. you. Thank you. Thank you.